Hello. Hello, hello, class. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? Very fine, thanks. Well, welcome to another day, another class. This little Friday that we have today. Hoy es un viernes chiquito. Because tomorrow you have vacation and then classes. So it will be a small Friday. Hello, Americo. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hello, hello. Okay. So here we go. How was your day, people? Was it good, bad, so-so, excellent? How was it? How was your day today? Excellent. It was excellent. What made it excellent? ¿Qué lo hizo excelente? A ver, cuénteme. Pase sin trabajo. <laughs> well, that's good. Good, good and bad, right? Good and bad. But it, it, it is nice, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. It is like, for sure, right? You you enjoyed because you were resting and you didn't have a lot to do, right? No hubo mucho que hacer. But that's, oh, that's yeah. good, right? <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So uh, that's important. So Americo, you see, you had a good day. I didn't have I didn't have many things to do. What else? ¿Quién más me cuenta? ¿Cómo les fue en el día? ¿Qué hicieron? Ajá. Only one or two people. Not everybody at the same time. Solo uno que otro. Ordenes. No todos al mismo tiempo. <laughs> Ajá. Let's see, Mr. Ronald. Tell me. What was the good thing about your job today? ¿Qué, uh, ¿qué tal estuvo el día hoy? Heavy. <laughs> Excellent. It was excellent. What made it excellent? Que lo hizo um, excelente, a ver. Because uh, empató al Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I imagine that something like that was going to appear, right, in my conversations today. Okay, good. So you are a big fan of Real Madrid? Yes. Okay, so, but they, it was just tied. So you say the game was tied. Tied, it means that it was uh, empatado. Tied. Mm -hmm. So, and who was he playing with? Who was Real Madrid playing, playing with? Who was? No, who were they playing with? ¿Con quién estaban jugando? Ah, uh, Manchester City. Oh, okay. So they are good opponents. So it was Again. nice that they made that. Was it Again. good? Difficult. And how did you see the game? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. How did you watch the game? ¿Cómo vieron ese partido? Uh, este... uh -huh. uh... Who do you say? Entretenido. <laughs> How do you say? Uh, it was it was entertaining, right? Entertaining. No, but my question is, what what time was the game? ¿A qué hora fue el partido? Uh, una. At one. Are at you one. working at one? No estaban trabajando yeah. a esa hora. No lunch. Ah, lunch. you were having lunch. Okay. Okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. I will <laughs> believe. I will believe. Diga preguntando, aquí, aquí cachamos, aquí cachamos. Hasta Américo está con, con la tablet ahí viéndolo. <laughs> Ay, Américo. We, we have been, uh, I mean, every time that we don't have it, uh, we don't have you here. I mean, we are missing you a lot. Right? Lo siento, Luis, pero no tengo acceso a eso ahí. Ah, vaya. No, no, no. So, but um, 
it is cool that all of you are here now. Well, most of your friends are connecting. Sorry, <laughs> I was asking for help. Okay, so, hi, Roxy, how are you? Vemos a un fantasma atrás de la Roxy todo el tiempo. Ya lo vieron. <laughs> la maca. Es la maca. <laughs> well, we're going to start the night tonight with a, a bit of practice, right? We're going to have a bit of practice about the topic that we started yesterday, right? This is the topic that we started yesterday that is about the adverts of frequency, right? And the question, how often? How often means que tan seguido, right? How often? And we have different types of questions in order to practice the topic, right? In the first question, what is the first question that you have there? Can you help me to read it? Uh -huh. What is the first question that you can see there? La primera pregunta que ven ahí, which is the first question? How often, how often do you read? How often do you read? How often do you read? And the next one is, what types of books do you like to read? Right? It's not only how often do you read or not, but what types of books do you like to read? That's the question, right? And remember, the answer for the question, how often, is... I sometimes, I almost always, I never, I uh, usually read. Hardly ever. I hardly ever read. So how often do you have one of these little friends on your hands? Hmm. How often do you have one of these on your hands? Look at this one. This is a very good book, right? It's called El Caso del Artista, right? It's a, it's a mystery book, right? It's a mystery book about a painter, and it is pretty awesome. This is the book that I just finished reading, and it's pretty nice. I read almost all the time, right? Yo quizás cargo en la cartera agua. Cartera, libro. <laughs> That's what I always have because I really like to read mostly in English and Spanish. Si no se la comió, la vamos a comer aquí todo. How often do you read people? So you can tell me, no, teacher, I almost never read. I sometimes read. I usually read. How often? Tell me. Odalis, how often do you read? Uh -huh. Odalis. <coughs> no, say, <laughs> um. They say, how often do you read? ¿Qué tan seguido lees? Ay, le, leer específico como libro. Uh, how often do you read? I mean, yeah, I mean to read. For example, I call it reading when you get a book and then you start reading or when you go online and you investigate articles or when you uh, get reading material and you read for pleasure, right? De leer, leemos todo el tiempo, Pero leer por placer, por el placer de leer, how often do you read? Mm. Uh, usually. I usually, so you say, I usually read. I usually read. Okay, what about Luis Parrilla? Mm -hmm. How often do you read? I normally read. I normally read. Evelyn? I hardly, I hardly ever. I hardly ever read, right? And that's good that you are honest about it. 
Let's see. Uh, Luis, you tell me that you normally read. What types of books do you like to read? Eh, solamente lo que investigo en, en Google. Articles online. So you say, I read articles online. Okay, that's, oh. that's the form, right? I read articles online. Okay. <laughs> I read articles online, or I, le I read online material, right? That is another one. Online material. And there you go, you have these two forms, articles online or online material. What about this one? The next question, maybe it's a little bit more familiar for all of you. How often do you go out to eat on weekends? How often do you go out to eat on weekends? That you go to the pupuseria, wow. or that you go to Pollo Campero, you go to Plaza Mundo, you go to Kentucky, I don't know. How often do you go out to eat on weekends? Or you visit someone, a, a relative or something, and you eat together, we never know. So I, how often do you do that? I, ¿Qué tan seguido lo hacen? Ocasionalmente. I occasionally, and then you complete this. I occasionally go out to eat on weekends. What about the rest? Aide, how often do you go out to eat on weekends? Uh -huh. Your microphone, Aide, it's off. Um, I sometimes in the weekends i sometimes right mm -hmm. what about brenda brenda garcia go out uh -huh. ronald tell me your answer <laughs> while brendita fix her camera okay mientras brendita arregla el micrófono y todo i hardly ever I hardly go out, ever uh -huh. go out to eat on weekends. I hardly ever go out to eat on weekends, right? There you go. Remember that on the answer, you use the complement of the question, right? The next one, Brenda Garcia, tell me, how often do you go out to eat on weekends? Um. Sometimes. I sometimes, y le ponemos el complemento. I sometimes I go, sometimes go out to eat on weekends. I sometimes go out to eat on weekends. Good. How often do you watch TV in the evening? Roxana, how often do you watch TV in the evening? Sometimes. I sometimes, y le ponemos el complemento. Sometimes watch TV. In the evening, right? In the evening. Carolina, how often do you watch TV in the evening? I sometimes watch, watch TV, TV in the evening. evening. Very good job. What about Griselda? How often do you watch TV in the evening? I I I hardly ever watch TV in the evening. I hardly ever watch TV in the evening. Let's see. How often? This is a good question. How often do you stay up later than you should? How often do you stay up later than you should? Okay? Ustedes deberían quedarse despiertos hasta 10, 10 y media. But how often do you stay up later than you should? Sí, la una de la mañana y sigo despierto. No. How often do you do that? Que tan seguido se quedan despiertos mucho más tarde de lo debido. Never. Never, you say. Uh -huh. Always. Always, you say. Luis, what, what, do you, what do you do? Do you watch social media? Or do you play video games? 
por eso anda directo siempre. <risa> oh, por eso no la abraza, mire, Brendita, cuando mm. mira, ah, le, no. le pasa uno por delante y anda directo y no, no anda dormido. You see. El otro día dijo Brendita que no la abrazabas cuando la saludaba. No, que no le abrazaba, ¿no? Yo no fui. Uy, uy. Que no habla. No le habla, vea. Casi no se ve. Ajá, so Luis stays up late. What about you, Ronald? Do you stay up late? Sometimes. Sometimes. Hmm, plain. Playing video yeah. game. Yes. I imagine. Yes. I imagine that. Yeah. How often, how often do you eat fast food for lunch? How often do you eat fast food for lunch? ¿Qué tan seguido comen qué? Comida fast rápida. food. Comida rápida, right? How comida often? Chatarra. Comida chatarra. <laughs> how often do you eat fast food for lunch, people? Always, I you say. Always. <laughs> you always eat fat, fast food, Griselda? Yes. What yes, type I of fast pizza, food? I love pizza, tacos, burritos, quesadillas, mexicana. I love that one. Um, hamburgers. French. So, ¿Cómo se dice papa frita? French fries. How do you say papa frita? French, French fries. fries. French fries. I love it. Occasionally. French fries. I oh you say I occasionally eat fast food for lunch. How often I, do you uh -huh? I occasionally do eat fat food for lunch? Okay. Aquí agarramos después del verbo. This is I occasionally y después pone el verbo. I occasionally eat fast food for lunch. Porque ya usaste el verbo, el sujeto I. No podemos usar you. I occasionally eat fast food for lunch. Okay. How often do you sing, people? Never. That's, always. You, never. Always. always. Yay. You are on my team, right? I love, I love. You. I love to sing, right? I love singing. In the shower, in the office, when I'm working, on the street. The problem is when you remember that you are wearing Sing headphones. Sing cantar, teacher. Sorry? Sing es cantar. Sing, sing. Este. Es cantar? Yes. Okay, always. I mean. Yeah, <laughs> I, I love to sing, right? I so love to sing. La cosa no es que cante bonito, sino que cante con sentimiento. <laughs> Yes. 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 And I am like, yeah, 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 on the street, right? And then I remember because people look at me like, <laughs> what's going on with that lady, right? It's and crazy. I'm like, ah. <laughs> that's why I love the mask. Right? We, we should sing. We should <laughs> sing one day. Yeah, the, you know, the only problem, I would love to have a karaoke class. That would be fantastic. But uh, YouTube uh, cuts out the videos with music. <laughs> That's why I cannot have karaoke on the class, right? Porque como, yeah, todos sus, todos sus videos eh, se suben a YouTube, obviamente. Y YouTube eh, beta todos esos videos que tienen música de tercero. Si no, in si no un karaoke. <laughs> in the group, yeah, in the WhatsApp group, I am going to send a couple of karaoke songs. That's very yeah. beautiful. It's really nice. And believe me, music in English helps a lot with your pronunciation. If you play music in English, I mean, listen to good music, people. That's my advice, okay? Si les puedo dar un consejo en esta vida, es que oigan buena música en inglés. No reggaeton, no this bad bunny, good bunny, horrible bunny, whatever. No, no I mean, listen to... <laughs> listen. <laughs> 
listen to music good to music. Michael Bolton. Yeah, L listen to good music too. I don't know. There is like a lot of good music. Backstreet Boys, Adele, and Sing, Michael oui. Jackson, Ava, Queen, Michael Tom, Bolton, I mean, Guns N' Roses, Michael Bolton, Iron Maiden, if you want. I mean, there is a, like a lot of very good music. I love your music. So I, even Britney, right? Even Britney. It's Metallica. good. Metallica. Metallica. But please sing Banda. with the lyrics. We. Banda. Banda. Banda in English. <laughs> there is. There is La music. Perdimo. No, there is music. No, I say panda. I didn't say banda. Yeah. So, but one thing that is very important is get the lyrics of the song. Okay, busquen la letra de la canción. Y con la letra vayan la leyendo, la van entendiendo y van cantando. Si no, después ahí quien te invocó, ¿verdad? Y es usted inventando <laughs> palabras. No. So please. Please. Read the lyrics. Okay? Imagine. Even me parece a México y quien se invocó a él. Come on, Brendita. Hay que amar al prójimo. Hay que amar al prójimo. So you have to be very careful with that. Right? I remember. How do you I say prójimo, teacher? Your neighbor. Your brother your neighbor say love your neighbor that's the that's the phrase siempre tenemos que amar al, al prójimo en inglés es love your neighbor the neighbor is tu vecino tu tu cercano right so when i was little when i was nine years old my father told me don't sing anything that you don't know or that you don't understand and that's why I learned English, right? I am a Tenian, con un librito, un diccionario, librito, diccionario, librito, diccionario, translating the songs. So, and I was singing, right? Me acuerdo que ponía la canción, la pausaba. La volvía a poner, la pausaba. La volvía a poner, la cantaba, la pausaba. So, it was like, like that all the time. And that's why I, I learned English with music. And it is very beneficial. How often do you go to the beach in summer? How often do you go to the beach in summer? ¿Qué tan seguido van a la playa en verano? Ajá. I never go to the beach in summer. You never go to the beach in summer, right? Ahorita con este frío sería chivo. <laughs> 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 Imagine the beach right now. No. Or, ay, no. Imagínense el calor de estar en la playa ahorita. No, no, it's not from God. So, how often sí. do you go to the beach? ¿Quién me contesta? ¿Quién más? Pero de noche. Go to the beach in summer. In summer, you almost never. No, which one, Evelyn? ¿Cuál albero frecuencia ocupó? Perdón. I seldom, right? I seldom go to the beach in go summer. Go to the beach in summer. Very good. Américo says, at night. Yes, <laughs> it's a good idea. But at night on the beach, ooh, it's very hot. My soul. <laughs> <laughs> no, pero el calor se queda. Okay, good. So, let's continue working here. I have the next one. How often do you text? How often do you text? I always. I always text. It's like, ajá, y cuando yo le escribo, nadie contesta. Mm. <laughs> Bloqueada. <laughs> <laughs> but you always text? How is that possible? Ah, ahora lo puedo poner cortito a todos, ya los caché. Okay. Ronald, por eso no cumplí. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, 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 Tell me, how often do you check social media platforms? How often do you check social media platforms? Uh-huh. I sometimes. Oh, no, no, teacher, never, never, you will say. I never, it's boring. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, and you start with one TikTok and another one and another one and another one. Every five minutes. Oh my God. 
<laughs> well, yeah, that's that's a problem, right? El problema de la fama, vea. <laughs> sí. Le abunda, compañera. When you are very famous, when you are very no famous. Ay, come on. No, don't be like that. Don't be like that. So, we are going to be working on a, a little bit on the practice of unit number three, right? We are going to work a little bit on your schedule. And I am going to go here. Here you go. Okay. I need you please to think about your schedule and you are going to create a little agenda of your day. I need you to create a little agenda of your day. Okay. Just a couple of things. Póngale the same time that we have here. I think we did it before. If you have it ready, just look for it. A little agenda. We are going to create an agenda for Mother's Day. We are going to do our agenda for Mother's Day. Let me just share my board. And here we're going to have my agenda for Mother's Day. So what are you going to do tomorrow? Mother's Day agenda. What time are you going to wake up? Pónganle la hora que se van a despertar. ¿Qué van a hacer? ¿A qué hora van a desayunar? So yeah, I need you to create a little agenda, a couple of activities. For example, I am going to say here, 5 a.m. I will wake up. Uh, at 5.30, uh, I will take a shower. And at 6, I am going to leave. Uh, I'm going to leave to Santa Ana. Okay, at 8, I am going to arrive there. Okay, and I'm going to be doing these different activities, right? So this is my example. What are you going to do tomorrow in your day off? ¿Qué van a hacer ustedes mañana en su día libre? <coughs> okay, I'm going to arrive home and then at nine in the morning, I am going to take breakfast. <laughs> Niño. <laughs> So this is an example, right? This is an example mm -hmm. of what you are going to be doing tomorrow. This is my example. And then I can continue, right? To take breakfast, to visit my mother, et cetera, et cetera. What are you going, you, what are you going to do tomorrow? Háganla de ustedes. Planifiquen su día. ¿Qué van a hacer mañana? Not every minute, right? No le voy a poner 501. Me muevo de la cama. 502, bajo un pie. 503, bajo el otro. No, 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 no. Just examples of activities, right? General activities. Ay, Sophie, te van a pegar. Okay, so just a couple of activities, right? A couple of activities. Do you have it ready?
Okay. Do you have your information ready? I will give you one more minute to finish and then we are going to start sharing. Okay, good. Luis, do you have it? Uh -huh. Go ahead. Tell me a little bit of what you are going to do tomorrow. Oh. And go, a couple of examples. Uh, <laughs> Some okay. examples. Okay. Este, well, 7.30 a.m. Uh -huh. 7.30, it's okay. 7.30. Wake up. Así se pronuncia. Wake up. Wake, Wake up. up. Okay. Uh, a a m eat breakfast um, nine m clean the house eleven a m take a shower dosa y media twelve thirty okay. 1230. 1230. Eat lunch. 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 Uh, lunch. Eat lunch. Eh, 1 30 p.m. Sí. 1 30 p.m. Yes. Sleep. Sleep. Eh, <laughs> La siesta. <laughs> okay. Take a nap. You say in that one, you call and you say, take a nap. Hello, teacher. Hi, hi, hi. Me conecté algo tarde. <laughs> Welcome, Rocio. Don't worry. We are doing a little agenda for tomorrow. We are practicing simple present and telling the time, okay? So don't worry. Well, so in that case, Luis, you have a take a nap. Take a nap es cuando nos acostamos a dormir en la tarde, así como un ratito, va solo. Un ratistillo, que son como cinco horas, ¿verdad? pero es un ratistillo. Take a nap. <laughs> no, es mucho. no, it's just a little bit of time. So, uh -huh. those were the activities that Luis is going to do. What about you, Griselda? I saw your hand up. Yo vi tu manita levantada. Dime. First, I wake up 7 a.m. Uh -huh. Then I eat the breakfast with my mom. You will eat breakfast with your mom, okay? After that, I go to the supermarket because I buy meat and vegetables. And with my siblings, and I prepare lunch to my mother. And finally, I go out to eat dinner with my friends. Oh, so beautiful. You're going to have a nice day tomorrow. You're going to have a very good day. What about you, uh, Aide? Yes, tell me. Um, six, 6 a.m. I take a shower. 8 a.m. go buy the gift. No, get, got, get, I go buy him a bit. Buy a shop or go uh -huh. shopping. Uh huh. Get to buy the gift. Uh huh. And um, ten p.m. go visit my mom. Twelve p.m. cook for the lunch. And three take a break sleep. 
Okay, take a nap. You say take a nap at 3 p.m. Las, las siestas, por ejemplo, las que tomamos a media tarde, a media mañana, a veces, eso se llama nap. Take a nap. Take a nap es un ratito. Y después, café, café. You say. And then when you wake up, you look for coffee, right? That's take a nap. Excellent. Okay. Evelyn, tell me. Uh, uh, six, wake up. Uh -huh. take, sorry, take a shower. Take a shower. Uh -huh. Take a shower. Seven, good breakfast. Seven fifteen, take breakfast. And um, eight, I know if it's like this. Go uh -huh. my, go to house my mother's. Ah, go to my mother's house. Oh, al revés. Go to my mother's house. Uh huh. Go to my mother's house. Uh -huh. okay. And then? Huh? Yeah, no just, just. Okay, ahí se acabó el día. That's good. <laughs> good. Let's go with uh, Ronald and then Selena and then Carolina. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Mother's Day agenda. 5 a.m. Wake up. 5.30. Take a shower. Uh, 6. Uh, breakfast. Eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Eat, eat breakfast. Um, 7. Uh, go give shopping. 11.30. Cook lunch. Cook lunch, right? Cook, Cook lunch. lunch. Um, 12 o'clock lunch with my family. Take a nap. Take a nap. Uh, Take a nap. Uh, <laughs> and only that. Good. The next one? <laughs> Vamos. Me. Yes. <laughs> you. <laughs> okay. Facts 30. 30. 30. Wax books. Six. Clean the house. Eight. I. Como este preparo de desayuno o algo así. Prepare breakfast, right? Or cook. Cook breakfast or prepare breakfast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Prepare. Night. Uh, I fly the clean the house. Okay, you clean the house again. You're going to <laughs> clean a lot. Oh my God. Yes. Eleven. <laughs> um, uh-huh. Oh. Uh -huh. Go to the mill. Mill. Go to the mill. Baja ir a donde el molino. Ajá. Ah, go to the mill. The mill. Ajá. That's the name. The mill. Eleven uh, thirty. I prepare looks. Lunch. 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 Y, um, and the two. Could, the, could my mother special? Oh, cook your mother's special food. Hey, that's so nice. Okay, very good job. Then go ahead with, thank you, Selena. I go with Carolina. And the last one is going to be Roxana. Uh, Mother's Day agenda. 7 a.m. Wake up. Uh, 7.30, ¿cómo se dice? 7.30. Vaya. 7.30. Y en, take a shower. Take a shower, ajá. Uh -huh. 8 y en. A.M., A.M. Y en, have breakfast. 9 y en, go to mom's house. 
Hasta ahí. Ok. You will be at your mom's house and then no more. Ok, good, 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 good. Very good. Right. Una vez que llegué a la casa de mi mamá, ya no. Soy hija de nuevo. <laughs> Very good job. And let's go. And who was going to be the next one? Roxana and Norma, maybe. Yeah, veo a Norma con el, el, el la gana de decirme qué va a hacer mañana. Go ahead, Roxanita. Seven, I am. AM, with AM. I am with cat. Seven to I am. I feel the cat. I am prepare breakfast. Prepare, prepare. Um, no, pero. <laughs> I am a uh, take a, a shower. Take a shower, right? Take a shower. I to I am prepare breakfast. And I to I am go shopping. And eleven o'clock. This is my mother. And forty p.m. go to the park. Four p.m. Four four four. And six go to the to dinner go to eat dinner right you go to eat go dinner to dinner very good job thank you roxy and what about norma a mother's day agenda 6 a.m wake up 7 a.m cook breakfast 7 30 a.m take breakfast 8 a.m. take a shower. 9 a.m. study. 11 a.m. cook a lunch. 12 a.m. have lunch. 12 p.m. 12 p.m. Oh. Hasta las 12 va. No, 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 it's okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's lunch. That's correct. Good. Continue. 1 p.m. study, uh, 6 p.m. cook dinner for my mother. Very good. 7 p.m. eat with family, uh, and 9 p.m. sleep. Very good job. Hey, people, a clap for Norma, please. Very good job. Very good. A clap for Norma. She's the only one that is going to study tomorrow. La única que va a el cuaderno mañana, you see. From 1 to 6 p.m. De la 1 a las 6 de la tarde, solo ahí hay study, mire. Very good. Sí. <laughs> no, que take a nap ni nada. Study. study. No, I'm kidding. Tomorrow is your, your day of vacation. But good that you are going to study. Well, my dear students, I'm going to call the attendance before I move to the next activity because it's a little longer. So uh, remember when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present. Astrid Abigail, not present. Ahorita donde no festejo el día de la madre. Aide Lizania. Presente. Brenda Elizabeth Cerón García. Present. Brenda Elizabeth Martínez Mejía. Present. Selena Janet Arevalo. Present. Selena. Very good. Diana Carolina. Present. Edwin Ernesto. Present. Evelyn del Carmen. Present. Griselda Yamilet. Here. Isabel Rocío. Present. José Antonio. Luis Américo. Present. Luis Humberto. Present. Marta Alicia. Present. Norma Yamilet. Present. Odalis Marisol. Present. Ronald Ulises. Present. Roxana de Jesús. Present. And Yolanda Beatriz. No, no present today. Ay, hey, Yolandita, no se conectó ahora. Well, very good. So, as we have been practicing right now, we are going to move into the next part of the practice of the day. We are going to work a little bit on telling the time. How do you tell the time, people? What strategies do you use 
in order to tell the time, right? Many of you were saying, right, 8.30, 8.45, but we have other specific things that we also use at the moment of expressing or reading the clock, right? In order to read the clock that we have here, let me share it with you. Aquí lo tengo con ustedes. Ahí igual se los envié una foto. We have the different things about the clock, right? We have the different parts. And what we do when we read it in English, that all of this one, right? All this part of the clock that we have here, right? All this part is past. And all of this one is two, right? You can say every number of the clock is how many minutes? Cuántos minutos son cada número? Same, five, five. Five, right? You have five minutes. So in this one, if we are talking about two o'clock, right? So you say it's five past two, it's 10 past two, it's a quarter past two. It's 20 past, it's 25 past, or it's half past, right? It's half past significa media hora pasa de, right? It's half past. Or in good American English, you can say 30. You say it's 7.30, it's 1.30, it's 2.30, right? But if you go to this side of the clock, you say it's 25.2. Faltan 25 para. Esto es pasan de y este es para. 22, a quarter to. A quarter, ¿qué es a quarter? Es un cuarto para. Porque obviamente cuando dividimos el reloj y lo dividimos uh -huh. en cuatro partes, tenemos cuatro cuartos de tiempo, right? So you say, it's a quarter past, pasa un cuarto. It's a quarter to, falta un cuarto. Okay, or if you want to read it in the easy way, you say it's 1.45. Okay, y nos vamos así de 5 en 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Right, you say 1.40, 1.50, 1.20, 1 1.15. That's the easy way to say it, right? What time is it? Ah, it's 1.10. But if you say it's 10 past one, it's different. So this, this way it's a little bit complicated, but you can use it. I mean, you can listen to it. De repente, alguien puede venir y le dice, it's a quarter past two. And you say like, what? A quarter past two significa que ya pasaron 15 de las dos. Or you can say in the easy form, 2.15. Simple. Yo le doy las dos opciones. La que nos gusta complicarnos un poquito con nivel un poquito más avanzado. You say, ah, it's 10 past one. What time is it that one? It's 10 past one. ¿Qué hora sería? It's 10 past one. ¿Qué hora sería yes, esa? No, it's 10 past one. Yes. La una y diez. La una y diez. O diez minutos pasan de la una. Okay. And if I say it's one ten, it's the same, right? It's one ten. What time is it right now? What time is it right now? Uh -huh. What time is it right now? It's 10 to, to, to 8. 10 to 8. ¿Y de la forma fácil cómo me lo dicen? 7.15. Or 7.50. 7.50. Okay, so let's, let's do something first. Okay, hagamos algo primero. Wait, 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 wait. Vamos a hacer algo primero. Antes que nada suceda. Vamos a revisar una cosa antes que nada suceda. We are going to check the numbers. Okay. Before anything happens, right? Usted me va a decir, ay, como que fuera niño chiquito. Yes. 
And then we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And here we can have next to it 20, 30, 40, 60. Yeah, ven porque era necesario revisar. 100. In these ones, for example, we have, okay, the normal numbers, right? You have one, you have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, ten. Okay, then you have the numbers, right? That is, okay, there is no problem with this one. The problem comes here when you have these ones, for example, you have 20, 20, this one is 30, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80, 80, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I, I made a mistake here. 80. Let me 80. check it. Uy, my God. Tuve un lapsus. 80. Brutus. Un lapsus brutus. Yeah, it happens. 80. No, it was like that. Estaba bien como lo estaba poniendo. 90. And 100. 100. Right? 100. So, <clears throat> when you talk about numbers, you have to be very careful because of the pronunciation, right? You have to be careful with the pronunciation. That is not the same to say 15 than to say 50, right? And here comes the other enemy of numbers, right? Con estos dos no hay ningún problema. El problema es este, que son diferentes. Mm -hmm. Because you say one, two, three, four, five, it doesn't change. 31, 32, 33, it doesn't change at all. But for example, these ones that you have here, this one is 11, right? 11. This one is 12. 12, right? There you have 12. This one is 13, right? 13. 14, right? You have 14. There you have 15. Then you have 16. Then you have 17. 18. 19. And then you have 20, right? 19, 20. So the difference here is this one, right? In this one, you have 20, right? 20. 20. 30. 30. 40. 40. 50. 50. This is not 60, okay? No, porque no estamos arreglando nada. You say 50. 50. Okay? 50. The next one is 60. 60. Okay? 60. And the next one here that we have, it's 70. 70. 80. 80. 90. 90. 100. 100. In this one, you have 20, 20, 12, 12, 12 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, right? It's 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 50. 50. Right? 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. No, 
19. So, if you tell me, what time is it, teacher? What time is it right now? Seven. 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 It's seven? Fifty? Fifty-five. Five. In this case, when you make the, the complements, for example, cuando ya hacemos el complemento de los números, you say, it's 31, 30. Two, 33, 34, and then you complement, right? You complement the numbers. In this case, you don't make any change. What time is it right now? 7.50? 7, 7.50? Seven, well, for mine is 59 right now. I don't know yours. It's 7.59, 7 7.58, you say. And there you make the difference on the numbers. <clears throat> Let's see. What time, what time do you enter to your place to work? What time do you enter to your place to work? ¿A qué hora entran ustedes a su trabajo? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, right? You go seven o'clock. In this case, o'clock means en punto. Right, seven o'clock. So let's practice with me. Practice the numbers. So you have one, one two, 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 three, three, four, four, five, five, five six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, eight nine, 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 ten. And 10, 11, 11, 12, 12, 20. 20. 20. It's not 20, okay? It's 20. 20. 30. 30. 40. 50. 50. 50. 60. 70. 80. 90. 100. 100. 100. Good. 100. So, now that we finish with that one, ahora que ya conocemos los números, podemos ir a darnos duro con el reto. Hoy sí. What time is it? And you have, it is, we have uh, in the numbers, if you go five by five, you have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. And you don't say it's 160. No, it's one o'clock. No me van a decir it's 160. La 160. No, one o'clock, two o'clock. Okay. So here you have the example. What examples do you have here? The first one. It's two. It's two o'clock you have. The first example. Let me show it here. It's two o'clock. Practice with me. It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. It's two o'clock. It's five past two. It's five past two. It's ten past two. It's ten past two. It's a quarter past two. It's a quarter past two. 
a quarter, right? Por eso le decimos un cuarto de dólar. ¿Por qué cree usted que le dicen cora a la cora? Es un a quarter past two. Dice, alguien escuchó que se llamaba quarter y dijo quarter, quarter. A cora, ponele. Cora. Y entonces alguien empezó a llamarle cora y todos le decían cora. Y es un cuarto de dólar, right? It's a quarter of dollar. So that's the example. That's the, the meaning of that one. It's 20 past two. It's 20 past two. It's 25 past two. It's 25 past two. It's half past two. It's half past two. It's 25 to three. It's 25 to three. It's a quarter to three. It's a quarter to three. It's ten to three. It's five to three. It's five to three. It's five to three, right? So, what time does your class start? Seven o'clock. At seven o'clock, right? It's at seven o'clock. What time do you finish working? Four. Four. Working, working. At four. At PM. four. Four. Three, no, four. Thirty three. Three. Four. Thirty three. Four. Thirty three. Four. Thirty three. Four. Thirty three. What time do you arrive to your house? Aquí ahora llegan a su casa. Five. Seven. Five. Seven. Five. Thirty. Thirty. Five. Thirty. Seven. Thirty. Oh yeah, Edwin. Poor Edwin. Yes. Six. Dead. Okay. What time do you eat dinner? ¿A qué hora cena? Right now. <laughs> six o'clock. At six o'clock, right? Very good. What time do you connect to your class? ¿A qué hora se conectan a la clase? Seven. Seven. Seven thirty. Seven thirty. <laughs> At 5 to 7, right? 5 to 7, a las 5 a las 7. That's very good. But uh, that's a good example. In the other form, right? The other form is easy. It's easy to say, right? Si leyéramos estas mismas horas que tenemos aquí en la forma fácil, como las leeríamos. <sighs> ¿Cómo le haríamos esa? Recuerden que el, el cero es O, right? In this one, it will be 205. 205. 205. Son las dos y cinco, right? 205. 205. What about the next one? Ajá. Uh -huh. 210. Two ten. Two ten. Two ten. Okay, the next one? Two fifteen. Two fifteen. Two fifteen. Two fifteen. Uh, the next one? Two twenty. Two twenty, right? Two twenty. What about the next one? Two twenty-five. 225. What about the next one? 230. 230. 230. 230. What about the next one? 235. 235. What about the following? 240. 240, 240 right? 240. 240. What about the next one? 245. 245. 245. 245. The next one. Two? Two fifty. Two fifty, right? Two fifty. And the last one? Two fifty-five. Two fifty-five. Very good job. So this is the easy way, right? Which one do you like more? ¿Cuál le gusta más? This. 
<laughs> the easy one, right? The easy way. I know, the easy way, it's better, right? Really pero, como, pero como a mí me gusta complicarles la vida a ustedes, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> yeah, for sure, as always. I need you to send me on the chat two examples of different times. Pueden coger cualquiera, cualquier hora que quieran. Two examples, one on the easy way and now the other one on the complicated way. <laughs> okay, write two examples. Cojan cualquier hora, puede ser la una, la dos, las tres, las cinco, la diez, whatever time. Write it on the chat, two examples. One on this form and the other one on the normal form, okay? There you go. Huh? On the chat in Zoom, go ahead. Tengan mucho cuidado con el spelling, porfa. Okay, good example. It's 10 to 6. I wake up at 5.30. No, write the example. Don't be tricky. No sean tramposos. Manden el ejemplo escrito. No me pongan el número. Manden el ejemplo escrito. It's 10 past 7 or something like that. Okay, send me the example. Okay, I have three only. It's a quarter. Quarter lleva R al final. It's a quarter past five. Good. It's five past eight. Is eight eight. <laughs> okay, send me your exam. I sleep at nine o'clock. That's good, a good example. It's five, 12 o'clock. It's five to 12. When you say it's five to 12 o'clock, is it like in that case? Did you say it's five to 12? Cinco a la doce. It's five to 12. It's 20 to 9. Good. I usually take a nap at 3.05. That's good. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, more examples? No? Okay, if you don't have more examples, I am going to share something with you. Okay, if you don't have more examples here, let me share something with you, okay? Just give me one second. I'm going to share here. Let me stop sharing. It's half past four. And here we have the next one. It's 425. Good examples. Those examples are very good. I am going to send you an exercise right now. Se los voy a enviar en este momento. And you are going to choose the correct answer. And let me just... Let me send it to you. Here. Okay. Let me share you the link. I am going to send you the link right now. Thank you for all the ones who send me the examples, right? Thank you very much. I will share it with you. Or does it have you? Chen, chen, chen. There you go. And here I go. My God, tengo que abrir como siete ventanas para mandarles una cosa. <laughs> okay. Just let me finish something. I am here. Fighting with someone. Deme un segundo. Okay, check your WhatsApp, please. I send you the link there. I send you the link on WhatsApp and I am going to send it here. So lo voy a enviar aquí también. There you go. And there is an exam, there is an exercise, right? It's an exercise. Where uh, you need to check the time, where you need to check the time. Open the exercise. Yeah. Okay, remember to send the uh, the result at the end. Send me the result at the end.
Okay. Recording in progress. Send me the answers when you can. Let me know when you finish. Okay, do you have it? Did you finish? Remember to send me the picture. Very good, very good. I have many, oh, nine of 10, very good. Seven of 10. Okay, 10 of 10, nice. That was a very, very good result. Thank you. Continue sending me your results, okay? Great job. So, was it difficult? Was it very difficult? Thank you for the results. Thank you for the pictures you are sending. Okay, very good. So there you have the exercise, right? There you have the example. And uh, for sure, it was, it was nice and easy, right? It was not that complicated at the moment of working on this one. Let me go back and share my screen with all of you. If you haven't finished, don't worry. You can finish later. And here I need to, okay. I will open my screen again. And this one. Okay, so we are going to work on this little exercise that we have here. Let me share it with you. Here it is. We're going to work on the exercise that we have here. It's like, what time is it, right? What time is it? And we have four five different questions, okay? We have five different questions and I need you please to complete them, okay? I need you please to complete them. And it says, there is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? It starts. What question do you think we are going to use here? Uh-huh. What question will you use here on the first part? 
¿Qué pregunta usaríamos aquí? What time? What time do what or time? does? What time? Does. What time does? What time does it start? It start. Okay. What time does it start? What about the next one? What about the next one? Oh, sorry, this is number three. This is number two. Let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Okay. And in this one, it's like, great. What will you complete there? How would you complete there? Really? What time is it's a meeting? Okay, in this case, it says, let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday, right? Yeah. And it says, great, you arrive. What Recording time in progress. You... And then you have, what time? Two. Do Two. you arrive? Two. What time do you arrive, right? What time do you arrive? It is? In this case, you have, it's 8.15, at 8.15. What about the next one? What about the next one? Tomorrow, I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too, it says. Me too. The photocopy center open. What will be the first, the question here? Uh -huh. So in this one, you say, what time does the photocopy center open? Okay. So in this one, you have, uh, let me write it for you. So let me just write it. Okay. Let me write it for you. Tengo que estar hablando de la vida en medio mundo aquí. Sorry. And it says, what time? Hey, 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 hey. What the fuck? Let me write it. I will copy them for you. What time does it start and what about the next one it says uh, tomorrow i have to go to the photocopy center me too what time does the photocopy center open the next one says let's meet for the meeting on wednesday great what time do you arrive Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, but what time does? What time does? And the last one says, Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. And in this one, we have what time do they open? Why? Because you have they as part of the sentence, right? What time do they open? And in this one, what time does, because you are talking about the restaurants, right? You are talking about the restaurants in this case. In this one, you say, what time does the photocopy center? Because you are talking about the place, right? What time does the photocopy center uh, open, right? What about this one? There is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. What time does it start, right? What time does it start? That is the form, right? What time does it start? And the next one you have here, what time do you, right? In this case, you have what time do you arrive? You use do because you have you, right? In the case, you have to follow the subject, right? You have to follow the subject that you have. What time does it start? 
porque aquí tenemos does, porque el sujeto es it. Aquí tenemos do, porque el sujeto es you. In the next one, you have restaurants. So in this case, I need to change it because it's plural. What time do restaurants close? What time does the photocopy center, because it's only one, right? What time does the photocopy center work? And Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. What time do they open, right? What time do they open? In this one, we need to be very careful about the subject, right? You need to be very careful about the subject because uh, that is the one that it's going to tell you if you are going to use do or does. So can you help me to read the examples, people? We have the examples of the questions right here. Can you help me to read them? Help me to read the examples. What time? What time does the meeting start? What time does the meeting start? What about the next one? What time do you arrive at work? What time do you arrive? What time do you arrive at work? What about the next one? What time, what time do employees? What time do employees leave? What time do employees leave? And the answers that you have? It's a one. It's 1.08. Esa sería la respuesta para what time is it? It's 1.08. The next one. What time does the meeting start? It starts at 11 o'clock. What time do they arrive? At about 6 p.m. At about 6.48 a.m. What time do employees leave? Usually around, Usually around 7 or 7. Usually around 7 or 7.30. Okay. Okay. There you go. So it's a, it's 1.08. What time is it? It's 1.08. What time does the meeting start? It starts at 11 o'clock. What time do you arrive at work? About 6.48. What time do employees leave? Usually around 7 or 7.30, right? So those are the answers for these ones. And for this part, we are going to finish with this little exercise. We are going to do this exercise with all of you. In this case, we are going to work and we are going to Write the name of your classmates, an activity that they do, and the time that they do it, okay? So here we have one example, right? Like the one that you did on your agenda. Uh, what time do you take a shower, you say? Ah, I take a shower at seven. What time do you cook dinner? And you are going to write the answers. You are going to work in groups right now. You are going to write the name of the student, the activity and the date or the time that they do it. For example, I am going to write Ronald, right? I have here Ronald. Ronald, what time do you cook dinner? Uh -huh. uh, six I, imagine that you cook dinner, right? Uh, cook dinner six. at 6 six. p.m. Then I am going to ask Luis Parrilla. Okay, Luis Parrilla. And then I am going to ask Luis Parrilla about a, take a shower. Take a uh, shower. What time do you take a shower? Uh, five o'clock. At five o'clock, right? at 5 p.m. So that's what you are going to do. You are going to take information from your friends, what activity you ask for, and the time, okay? A sus tres, cuatro compañeros les tienen que preguntar las actividades y la hora en la que lo hacen. Y ustedes me van a hacer una colección de información. Exactly like this one. The name, the activity, and the time, okay? 
that is what we are going to be doing right now in the groups. We are going to work in little groups of five. You are going to collect names, activities, and times, okay? Here I go. I am going to make only three or four groups, okay? So let me just move Edwin here, and then I am going to create less groups. Okay, two groups, exactly like that. And accept my invitation to go to the groups, please, and collect names, activities, and times. Go ahead. Así es. Okay, people, remember that you have to ask, you have to ask questions, right? What activities are you going to do? And who are you going to ask? So how are you going to do it? ¿Cómo se han organizado? A ver. Está bien, no ya no está, sino que es de preguntarnos uno cada uno. Ajá. Exactly like that. O sea, usted le va a preguntar a alguien, le va a preguntar a Evelyn, por ejemplo. Evelyn, what time do you wake up? Y ahí le ponen, wake up, Evelyn, y a la hora que ella nos diga. Vea. Esa es la, la información que vamos a ir recolectando. Y de ahí ustedes le inventan otra cosa. Y a Roxana le preguntan, Roxana, eh, what time do you take a shower? Y Roxana nos dice, ah, seven in the morning. Ah, Roxana, take a shower, seven in the morning. Okay? Y eso es lo que vamos a ir anotando. Okay? Ustedes se preguntan entre ustedes y ahí vamos sacando la info. Okay? Hoy sí estamos claros de lo que vamos a hacer. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, good. Practice. I am going to come back. Bye. 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 AM, AM, AM. Ok. Recuerden que lo que tienen que hacer, por ejemplo, aquí, actividad, persona. Decimos, Ronald, what time do you take a shower? Y, y Ronald nos va a contestar, nine in the morning. Entonces ponemos, Ronald, take a shower, nine in the morning. Carolina, what time do you eat dinner? Ah, 8 p.m. Carolina, eat dinner, 8 p.m. Y vamos a ir llenando los tres espacios del cuadrito, ¿ok? So ask questions, ¿ok? Ask questions among yourselves and we can get the information, ¿ok? Ask questions. Ahí se pueden ir preguntando entre ustedes para que puedan ir sacando su information. Using the question, what time do you? What time do you? What time do you take a shower? What time do you cook? Go ahead. Norma. 
Gua juga. Eh. Vaya, entonces comencemos con ellos y dice que levanta a las... Las cinco en punto. Five o'clock. I wake up five o'clock. ¿Quién sigue? Guys. Who's next? Pero, pero, ¿quién sigue? Who's next? ¿Quién pero, sigue? ¿Cómo te dice? Who's next, you say? Who's, who's next? Va. Para decir quién sigue. Who's next? Ah, sí, sí, sí. Who's. 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 Este, hay de un man. Bien. Yeah. Toma, se va, no sé qué, qué va a tomar, no sé qué. Um, uh, okay. Tenía una que, que hace una actividad. Eh, no, es que vos le tenés que preguntar a ella qué actividad. Uh -huh. Vos le tenés que preguntar, por ejemplo, a qué hora desayunas o, o a qué hora almorzás. O a qué hora salís a trabajar. Aquí? Me tiene que preguntar en inglés, así, what time do you? Uh, you take a breakfast y yo te tengo que decir la hora. Good, very good. What time do you? What time do you take breakfast? What time do you cook? What time do you clean? Mm -hmm. That's the form of the question. Very nice. Excellent job. What time do you cook? I did. Um, I say breakfast and eight a.m. o'clock. Eight a.m. Eight a.m. Eight a.m. Yeah. Eight a.m. Right. A.m. A.m. o'clock. Okay. Si decimos eight a.m. No tenemos que decir eight a.m. o'clock there. Ah, solo eight o'clock. Eight a.m. or eight o'clock. Uh -huh. Exactly like that. Okay. okay. Yes. Este, Ahora Edwin, sigo yo preguntándole a alguien más. Edwin preguntó a qué hora es cocina. La respuesta que fue. What time do you cook? No, you say what time do you cook? That's okay. What time do you cook? Like, what time do you cook? What time do you eat? Es que a qué hora come. What time do you cook? Es a qué horas cocinas. La hora no la no la escuché ahí. Ahora. Diego, ¿a qué hora? Ah, me siguen preguntando. No, <laughs> no, they want the time. Quieren el ahora porque no te escucharon. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. ¿Alguien más pregunte? Yo, 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 yo. Ay, 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 ay. ¿Alguien más? Ah, Brenda. Aprende. What time do you clean your house? What time do you clean your house? Good question. I clean in. Uy, a buen momento entre. O'clock a.m. So you say, if you say, for example, o'clock a.m. No, you say like seven o'clock in the morning. Okay, if you, if, you are to, if you want to say like that, or oh, it's 7 a.m. Es mejor si se quiere referir a que es algo en la mañana, you say 7 a.m., right? Because it, you know that it's o'clock. You don't say 7 o'clock a.m. in the morning. No. <laughs> 7 a.m., just like that. Or 7 o'clock in the morning. Okay? So you can use it like that. Good. Acabo de corregir el mismo error en el otro grupo. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's continue. How many do you have? Ya tienen los diez, todavía no? ¿Cuánto lleva? siete. No, pero se pueden preguntar otras cosas. Américo is having internet connection issues. Se ha tenido un montón de problemas el pobre Américo con su internet. No, eso sí. Uh -huh. So please, any other question? Ask me a question. Ah, yo, yo voy a ser número ocho, vamos. 
teacher, what time do you go to work? What time do I go to work? Oh, uh, 6.45. I go to work at 6.45. To arrive at 8. Para llegar a las 8, imagínate. I go to work at 8. ¿Qué dijo la hora? 6.45. Ajá, uh -huh. any other question? So I can give you another activity. La que dijo, teacher. Go to work. Go to work. Ajá. Uh -huh. I go to work, you say. And another activity, give me another example. Uh -huh. Any other question? Preguntas, preguntas, aproveche. Uh -huh. Question, question. Teacher, what time do you? What time do you read? Uh -huh. What time do you read and what time do you? Teacher, what time do you? What time do you want? What time do you what? Uy, hoy con música con salvaje. Ajá. Uh -huh. What time do you read? I read at 1 p.m. in my lunch time. Any other question? Uh -huh. yeah, what a deal. <laughs> at 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Okay. At 1 p.m. in my lunch time. Okay. At 1 p.m. Let me see if the other group finished already. Creo que ya terminaron también. Let's go back then. Back. Welcome back, I did. Welcome back, my dear students. Welcome back to your class. So tell me, what do your friends do during the day? What time do they do these things? ¿Qué hacen sus amigos en el día? ¿Y a qué horas hacen estas cosas? Ajá. Uh -huh. And you can tell me, teacher, I did cooks at seven in the morning. Teacher, Selena <laughs> takes a shower at six in the morning. So give me information. Uh -huh. Give me information de la que recolectaron. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Teacher, uh -huh. Luis Parrilla, dinner, night, story. Ajá, uh -huh. Luis Parrilla, eating, ok, a, a esto so. quería llegar yo. Vamos a ver la uh -huh. capacidad de creación de oraciones. Oh. Ya vamos en una semana tres, tenemos uh -huh. información, tenemos que aprender a reportar. So you say, Luis Parrilla, esta es la información que tú tienes, ¿verdad? Luis Parrilla, yeah. dinner, eh, uh -huh. eight, no, 6.30 me dijiste, ¿verdad? ¿O qué hora me dijiste? No, 9. 
9.30, que dice de mi tío, uh -huh. que come a las 9 y media. So, esa es la información que tenemos. Luis Parrilla, uh -huh. dinner, 9.30. ¿Cómo reportamos esta oración? Si vamos a hablar de información de una sí. tercera persona. Una tercera decimos, persona, sí. Estoy dice, sí, Luis Parrilla. Parrilla, ¿cuál es el sí. verbo para dinner? It's. It. It's dinner. Sí. It's dinner. Antes de la hora siempre ponemos at, at. y después ponemos la hora. 9.30. Ya ven por qué les digo que a mí me gusta complicarlos a ustedes porque sé que los uh -huh. puedo llevar a niveles más arriba de cosas uh -huh. básicas. Okay? Luis Parrilla, it's dinner at 9.30. And then uh -huh. you have a sentence. That is an information sentence. That is a report of information. So give me another example from a different person. Deben otro ejemplo de alguien más? Isabel, wake up. Means the host as Nine o'clock. Who cleans the house? No. Brenda. No, ah, Brenda. Brenda cleans the whole house at nine a.m. Okay, there you go. And there you have a complete sentence. Brenda cleans the house at 9 a.m. Griselda. Isabel, wake up at 6 a.m. Isabel, aha, very good. Isabel wakes up at 6 a.m. Y ahí está, ya ven cómo me van reportando ya mejor. Go ahead, give me another one. Give me information about Ronald. ¿Qué hace Ronald? Cooks dinner. No, déjelo que me digan ellos. Uh, <laughs> cooks Yo dinner. Yo soy otro Ronald. <laughs> Ronald cooks dinner. At 6 p.m. Quiero en saber Marta, algo Ajá. de Marta. Marta. Goes to the supermarket. Ok, Marta goes to the supermarket. At 6 a.m. At 6 a.m. At 6 a.m. At 6 a.m. Espérame, espérame. Marta goes to the supermarket at 6 a.m. El que vive lejos. <risa> Don Callejas, me abre, por favor. <risa> at 6 p.m., maybe at 6 p.m., ¿ok? 6 a.m. At, uh, at 6 a.m., ¿ok? Es que hay un súper cerca de su casa, que es amiga del vigilante. Yeah. Really? Wow. Ok, teacher, teacher, yeah. ¿qué? Alguien quería parar el mundo por decirme algo. ¿Qué pasó? Ronald. Ajá. Griselda visits your, his mom. Ah, Griselda visits his, his mom. His mom, 7 a.m. His mom. Her. Griselda, her. 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 Griselda no her. tiene bigote. Her mom. Her. At 7 a.m., right? Y si la ven con mostacho, es he is ahí, sí, vea. Pero no, Griselda visits her mom at 7 a.m., right? Mam mami, ya se despertó. <laughs> Early in the morning. Mami, tengo hambre. <laughs> at 7 in the morning. No. <laughs> ok, good, good. No, tiene que llegar mínimo ya con las pupusas así en la mano. Mamá no cocina. So there you go. Give me information about Norma. I want to know about Norma. Norma cooks breakfast at 7 a.m. Norma cooks breakfast at 7 a.m. Very good. Give me information about your teacher. ¿Quién tiene info about your teacher? Uh -huh. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. So give me the information. Teacher Nati works at 6.45 a.m. Teacher Nati goes to work, goes to work at 6.45 a.m., right? Teacher Nati goes to work at 6.45 a.m. Give me information about Roxana. Huh? About Roxana. I need information about Roxana. Roxana goes to work at 6 a.m. 
Roxana goes to work at 6 a.m. Very good. What about Brenda Garcia? I need information about Brenda. Brenda cleans the house at 9 a.m. Brenda cleans the house at 9 a.m., right? Give me information about Edwin. What does he do? ¿Qué hace Edwin? Edwin brush, brushes. Brushes, right? Edwin he, brushes he, he, his teeth uh -huh. at 9.30, right? Edwin brushes his teeth at 9.30. Yeah, it's his, his, ahí sí, his, 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 ahí miren Edwin, ya está ahí, hombre de barba y bigote, his, <laughs> his, but for the ladies, no his, okay, we have to be very careful with that one, the ladies, well, all, all depends, <laughs> we, we have to be very careful, en este mundo ya no sabemos. But it is, <laughs> no, it, it is uh, his for the boys, her for the girls. Hairs. Okay, so I will go over the example that we have here, right? This is what we cover. Thank you, right? The name, the activities, and the dates. For this one, it's only for you to get the information, but the complete sentences when you report are different, right? The sentences when you report are totally different. Okay, here I go. Let's see. Okay. Anyway, I stopped sharing. What happened? Ah, here it is. Okay. So here, this is the little exercise that I asked you yesterday to complete. And in this one, we are going to use at, in, or on, depending on the form of the sentence that we have. Are you busy Monday afternoon? What do you use with Monday afternoon? On. On, right? Are you busy on Monday on. afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There is a presentation about it and it sounds very interesting. It starts uh, at, uh, at 6.30. I work until 5.45, but I can meet you uh, at, uh, at uh, 6 on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There is another presentation, but it will be in, in March. In. It will be in March. On Sunday. On Sunday. Sunday. It will be in March on Sunday. Sunday. And I can't that day. Is it yeah? No well, right? Okay. In this one, it says, are you busy on Monday afternoon? Go with me. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Are you sleep? Are you sleep? <laughs> Come on. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Monday. Are, are, are you busy on Monday afternoon? Imagínese que está invitando a salir a su crush. Pregúntele con emoción. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Look at Evelyn. Evelyn has Evelyn has the, 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 the talent there. I can see, right? Mm -hmm. Imagínese que le está preguntando a alguien que usted de veras le interesa que le diga si está ocupado. No, right? No le va a preguntar, are you busy on Monday afternoon? Ah, yes, yes, I am on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday, every day. <laughs> so, I'm free for you every day. <laughs> So yeah, but how you how you ask? ¿Cómo le preguntas a alguien? Right? Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Vamos. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Are you busy on Monday afternoon? No, why? Ah, and then you say ah, ah and then you open your eyes like like little lights there. Are you alone? <laughs> Do you know about the new product? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? Launches means lanza al mercado, right? Launches, lanza al mercado. There is a presentation about it. 
there is there a, is a presentation, presentation about, about it. And it sounds very interesting. And it sounds very interesting. Interesting, no. Interesting. 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 There is a presentation about it and it sounds very interesting. There is, there is a presentation about it. It sounds very interesting. Interesting. It starts at 6.30. It starts at 6.30. It starts at 6 I work until 5.45. I work on 545. But I can meet you at 6. But well, I meet you at 6. On the corner of 1st Avenue and Main Street. On the corner of 1st Avenue and Main Street. In Main Street. Que es the corner en la esquina. En la esquina de. On the corner of. On the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? What do you, what do you think? There is another presentation. There is another presentation. There is another presentation. But it will be in March on Sunday. In March on Sunday. And I can't that day. And I can't that day. And I can't that day. Okay, so that's the form. Read it for me. A ver, leanme ustedes a mí. One, two, and three. Are you on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new company? The company launches a presentation what do you do will be in March on Sunday that day. Um, I Let me know. Bye bye. You say. Let me know. Let me know. Es avisame. Okay. What will be What will be your Mother's Day homework? I need you to send me this audio. Invite me to this meeting. Right. Inviten me a esto. Inviten me a esta actividad. And I need you to send me the audio on WhatsApp. But I am not Fatima, so please don't say hello, Fatima, okay? No van a decir hello, Fatima, porque les voy a decir, ¿Quién es la Fatima? Huh? Tenés otra teacher, vea. Who's <laughs> 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 Fatima? <laughs> no, I, I'm very, I'm very <laughs> jealous. <joke. Nah. laughs> hello, Natty, right? Hello, teacher. Right? Hello, teacher. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There is a presentation about it, and it sounds very interesting. It starts at six, at 6.30. I work until 5.45, but I can meet you at 6 on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There is another presentation, but it will be in March on Sunday, and I can't that day. Let me know. Bye-bye. You have to send me the audio. You have all the day. Tienen todo el día. Practíquenlo. Okay? Practíquenlo bien para que les salga bonito. Hello, teacher. Are you busy on, on Sunday? Otra vez, ahí borro el audio y lo vuelvo a mandar. Hello, teacher. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There is a presentation about it and it sounds very interesting. No quiero ningún interesting, okay? Interesting. It starts at 6.30. I work until 5.45, but I can meet you at 6 on the corner of 1st Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There is another presentation, but it will be in March Sunday. 
and I can't that day. Let me know. Bye bye. Okay. So please, mm -hmm. that will be your homework for tomorrow. You have all the day. Tienen todo el día. Tienen todo el día de mañana y todo el día jueves para enviarlo. Please practice. If you have questions on pronunciation, let me know. Okay. I am going to give you the space for you to practice. That will be my Mother's oh, Day gift. Mi mejor regalo va a ser su mejor pronunciación. That will be the perfect pronunciation. Okay. So please, that will be for tomorrow or Thursday. Tienen mañana todo el día y el jueves todo el día. Porque el jueves los vamos a escuchar en la clase. Así mm. que, <laughs> mándenlo. Esa es la actitud. Yes. We are going to listen to your audios in the class. So it's going teacher. to be perfect. Okay. Yes, teacher, what? Dar la imagen. Ah, for sure. It's on the manual. Ese está en su manual. Ah. Es en su manual. Okay. Está en la, en la última página, creo. Sí. There you go. Screenshot. There you go. You have to send me this one. Okay. I am not Fatima. Okay. No me van a decir hello, Fatima. Hello, Nati. Hello, teacher. Okay. It's this paragraph, the one that you are going to send me. Okay. On an audio, on WhatsApp. If you have any question, let me know. Ya se lo voy a enviar yo para que lo estén practicando. Okay. Have a wonderful night, my dear students. Say Good happy night. Mother's Day to your mother. Feliz Día de las Madres to para todas ustedes. Thank you yes, very thank much. You. Thank you Good very, God. very much. Para Cuídense. todas las madres que no son madres, pero que sí son lindas madres de algún sobrino. Que la pasen bien mañana a todas. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. Have bye. a beautiful Mother's bye. Day to your mothers as well. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye, bye. bye, bye my dear class.